Hello and welcome to the AI with Arun Shah. This week has fundamentally reshaped the technological and the economic landscape. The week was defined by historic valuations, mass corporate layoffs, and critical moves toward global governance. In this video, we'll break down the boom, the regulation, and the escalating geopolitics of AI. Let's get started. We begin on the innovation front. We are witnessing a critical transition in AI, moving past simple assistance and into the realm of truly autonomous agents that are disrupting foundational internet services and entering the physical world. Disrupting search and productivity. In a major strategic move, OpenAI has launched Atlas, a new web browser built around its popular ChatGPT conversational AI. This is a direct challenge to Google's dominance in search. Atlas fundamentally shifts the paradigm from keyword-based search to intent-driven conversational AI, delivering answers and summaries directly. This transition opens up new potential avenues for user engagement and ad revenue. The agentic movement is deeply embedding into core software. Microsoft rolled out a substantial Windows 11 update that significantly enhanced Copilot with agentic AI capabilities. This allows users to instruct Copilot to perform sequences of actions autonomously, moving it from a simple assistant to a genuine agent. Simultaneously, Adobe Max 2025 unveiled extensive agentic AI assistance across its creative cloud applications, including Photoshop, Premiere, and Illustrator, solidifying the move towards AI-native content creation. Moving beyond the digital screen, Tesla unveiled next-level innovations for its Optimus humanoid robot. Tesla showcased advanced dexterity and improved balance, setting clearer targets for deployment in factory and logistics automation. This progress in real-world capabilities accelerate the timeline for embodied AI, meaning AI that exists in the physical world, in industrial and potentially consumer settings. This wave of rapid innovation is fueled by unprecedented economic commitment. Our next segment covers the infrastructure race marked by a historic $5 trillion valuation and record-breaking spending. NVIDIA becomes the first $5 trillion company. This historic valuation underscores NVIDIA's foundational role as a critical provider of specialized GPUs that powered the global AI boom. The company reported a massive 56% sales increase last quarter, confirming the continued insatiable demand for high-end AI chips needed for training and deploying large models. Big tech is engaging in a spending war, committing hundreds of billions annually to AI infrastructure. Alphabet or Google boosted its full-scale year capital expenditure capex to $91 billion, while Amazon committed $125 billion for data centers. This annual surge exceeding $360 billion among the giants risks a dot-com 2.0 scenario if substantial returns remain unproven, a caution recently echoed by the Fed chair. Despite the bubble fears, we are seeing validation in the enterprise space. Dell Technologies has partnered with NVIDIA to integrate its CUVS vector search engine into its AI data platform. This helps enterprise scale AI from pilot to production using the proprietary data. Furthermore, internal trails integrating Anthropic's cloud model into IBM's tools showed a significant 45% productivity gain in software testing, demonstrating the proven ROI of generative AI within the core enterprise functions. The AI boom, however, is not without consequences. Our next section examines the profound economic and labor shift highlighted by automation-driven job cuts and the persistent gap between AI hype and real-world scalability. Amazon initiated its largest ever corporate layoffs, cutting 14,000 corporate positions across AWS, operations, and HR. Crucially, the company explicitly cited the shift to AI-driven processes and the need to streamline as the reason for the cuts. This confirms the accelerating trend of AI-powered automation, leading to significant job restructuring, particularly in white-collar and administrative roles. Despite the massive investment and buzz, integration hurdles persist. An MIT study found that only 5% of over 300 AI projects yield gains due to scalability issues. This complexity is reflected in the finding that 80% of businesses are currently using generative AI with zero reported bottom line impact. The lesson here is clear. The focus must shift 
from simply acquiring compute to solving real integration challenges to avoid pilot stage failures. The economic and labor urgency created by these breakthroughs has galvanized global governance efforts. Our final section, the fourth section, covers the move from guidelines to enforceable criminal law and the mounting geopolitical tensions. In a major step of a global AI governance, Italy became the first EU country to pass a comprehensive national AI regulation that aligns with the EU's AI Act. The new law introduces criminal penalties for harmful AI generated content and imposes limits on minors' access to certain technologies. This sets a powerful precedent for other nations to establish enforceable, human-centric, transparent, and safe frameworks. Even traditional sectors are prioritizing transparency. Fair Isaac Corporation FICO, secured new patents for advanced AI and machine learning technologies aimed at creating more explainable and compliant AI models for credit scoring. This directly addresses the critical need for responsible AI and transparency in high-stakes financial services, increasing compliance with fairness regulations. AI governance has become a central geopolitical battleground. At APEC, China's president Xi Jinping proposed creating a Shanghai-based World AI Cooperation Organization to set global rules and promote public good AI. This escalates the US-China tech cold war potentially fragmenting global AI standards. Heightening this tension, the original inventor of AGI, artificial general intelligence, warned of the dangers of human-level AI, particularly if placed in military hands, fearing an arms race worse than the nuclear weapons. Two foundational breakthroughs signal the future. First, in quantum computing, Google achieved a new verifiable quantum advantage with its quantum echoes algorithm running on the Willow chip. This calculation was performed 13,000 times faster than the best classical supercomputer algorithm. And second, the democratization of AI accelerated, driven by the trend of fine-tuning smaller specialized open source models for niche tasks. This allows startups and small businesses to create high-performing domain-specific AI applications without relying on the massive resources of big tech cloud providers fostering innovation at the edge. With that, we come to this week's edition of the AI with Arun show. Thank you so much for watching. And we sincerely hope you can support us by joining us as a member. All you have to do is go to the description at the bottom. You will see how to become a member. In any case, please like, share, and subscribe to the AI with Arun show. Thank you so much for watching.